In the last video, we transformed our simple Python application into a simple Flask server. Now let's transform it into a Flask API server. In the Flask API file, let's create the APIs. First, we need to import the resource and API from the Flask RESTful library. That was the third library we imported from pip. Now, let's open that file and scroll right on up to the top. Now at the top here, let's do another import. Say from flask underscore restful import API and resource. Go ahead and save that. Now, under the app instantiation, let's add a new comment and say initialize API object for the Flask application and type API as our object name equals API and then we're assigning it to the app or Flask app. Next, I'm going to remove a little bit of the white space and I'm going to come under the index function here for the routes and type the comment API requests. To create a new request in the Flask API, we have to create a class object and inherit the resource or extend the resource class. So let's go ahead and do this and type class, and we'll call this all so we can pull all of the data, extends resource, and then next what we'll do is we want to create a get function or get method. So we'll type define get self, in other words, calling the object's existence or self, and then simply type return records. Next, we need to tell the application to include or add this API resource to our Flask API server. So on a new line, underneath the API, but before the main, Go ahead, let's add in a new comment and type register API resources. And then under that, go ahead and type api.add underscore resource, singular, not plural, singular. And then the name of the object, which in this case is all. And then the path to which we want to use it. So in single quotes, I'm going to do a fourth slash API forward slash and save it. Now go ahead if your server isn't already running go ahead and rerun it typing python flask api server dot pi and open up the browser again. If I refresh it it's fine. Now if I type forward slash api forward slash I get a JSON results of all my information that we've pulled in and we've started building our API. At this point, you have a working Flask API server pulling data from a Google spreadsheet online. Now, I've got two more additional videos after this, which will cover additional API requests and creating another Python application to pull the data from our Flask API server. That's it for this video.